So what are the pros and cons of a personal loan? In this video, we are going to quickly define what a personal loan actually is. We'll also discuss, you know, what a personal loan is typically used for. We'll break down some of the costs that are potentially involved with getting a personal loan. And finally, we will discuss some of the pros and cons of personal loans. So we're going to do all that in today's video. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, it's Mike Adams here with bankrate.com where our goal is to help guide you through life's financial journey. And just to let you know, we did a fully detailed blog article on this exact topic. You can find that on our website, bankrate.com. And while you're there, make sure to check out the new bank rate dashboard. And this is a free tool that will allow you to gain access to several articles, calculators, tools, even pre-qualified offers based on you and your particular interests and your particular goals. So again, all those free resources available on our website, bankrate.com. So now what is a personal loan? You see, a personal loan is a sum of money that you borrow from a lender, and that could be an online lender, that could be a local, a local bank right down the street, or it could even be from a credit union that you're a member of. Now, once you receive the funds of this loan, you will then be required to pay back that amount plus an agreed upon interest rate over the course of a predetermined repayment schedule. A personal loan is a form of credit and this can help you make a large purchase or even help you consolidate other higher interest debts. So what are some of the pros of a personal loan? Well, the first pro is that personal loans are very versatile. You can literally get a personal loan for just about anything, um, unlike, let's say, a mortgage where that requires you to buy a property. You know, with a personal loan, you can literally take a, out a loan for just about anything that you're looking to purchase, um, or again, if you're looking to consolidate other higher interest debts. The second great thing about personal loans is that typically the interest rates are going to be much lower than credit card rates. You know, the average personal loan interest rate is roughly 11% and the average credit card interest rate is going to be closer to 15, 16%. So that's a pretty big difference there in the amount of interest you'd pay over the time of paying down the debt. Now again, the rate is determined by your credit score. So the higher your credit score is, the lower the interest rate will be um, that you qualify for when getting your personal loan. Personal loans are also unsecured, meaning that they don't require any type of collateral. Usually don't require any type of collateral in order to get the loan. And it's usually a quick approval process. Again, because of the fact that there is no collateral involved, they don't need to spend time verifying your, that your collateral has the value that uh, you say it does in order to secure a loan. Since it's unsecured, the approval time really just boils down to your personal credit and your personal credit score. So uh, therefore, it's a, usually a quick turnaround as far as finding out if you qualify to get a personal loan. Now, if in fact you are interested in seeing what type of personal loan rate you may qualify for, you can do that for free on our website, bankrate.com, without affecting your credit. We have several fantastic tools and calculators available. Again, I'll put a link in the description. Now, does this mean that getting a personal loan is right for you? Well, again, that truly depends on you, your particular goals, and your particular scenario. Now, to give you a few things to consider, let's discuss some of the cons of getting a personal loan. And really, the first con is that you don't want to get yourself trapped in a debt cycle. And what that means is, let's say you're taking on a personal loan to consolidate other higher interest debt. Well, the fact of the matter is, is that you racked up a bunch of higher interest debt that you need to consolidate. And so what you don't want to do is get a personal loan to pay off those debts and then rack up the credit card debt again. So that, that can end up being a very vicious and expensive debt cycle that you really don't want to be in where you end up paying a lot of money and interest to the banks. Another con is that you are now adding a fixed monthly payment to your budget. So when it comes to a personal loan, there will always be a fixed monthly payment where part of that payment is principal to knock down the balance of the loan. And part of that payment will be interest that you're paying to your lender. But that fixed payment is something you're going to have to pay every single month. Another thing is that there are sometimes loan origination fees with personal loans. So not, not all the time, but sometimes there may be fees depending on the size of your loan 
you may have to pay several percentage points up front in a fee in order to actually originate the loan. And so that is something you will want to verify um, with your lender prior to actually taking out the loan. So you know what those fees are and what to expect. And the last con, unfortunately, is that there are a lot of scams in the personal loan space. Before you apply with any lender, you're gonna to wanna to check them out on the Better Business Bureau website or with your state attorney general's website to verify their legitimacy. So with all that being said, is a personal loan right for you? Well, the bottom line is that personal loans can be great if you use them for the right reasons, like consolidating higher interest debt. Now, they can be really bad if you use them for the wrong reasons, like consolidating that higher interest debt and then racking those higher high interest credit cards back up again. So if you have underlying overspending issues, you're definitely gonna to want to address those Taking out a new personal loan doesn't eliminate some of those bad habits. But if you are looking to break some of those bad habits, we have a ton of free resources available on our website, bankrate.com. And if you are in fact looking for a personal loan, we have several calculators and several tools available that you can use to help really identify, number one, how much of a personal loan you can actually afford and then as well, it will guide you towards finding the right loan for your particular scenario. So again, all of those free tools are available over at bankrate.com. So hopefully found value in this training and in this discussion. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and give it a comment below. And as well, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. We are gonna be creating tons of great video content to help you with life's financial journey. So make sure to click subscribe and click the bell so that way you get notified on any and all of our future content. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you in the next video.